Imagine you're a senior college football player who has a dream of making the NFL, and it's your pro day, your last chance to change team's impressions of you. It's a big day in a prospect's career, a key element of your job interview with 32 companies who are hiring. Now imagine if you're a Florida A. Not one, because that's what happened on Thursday. They were supposed to start in the morning, and none were there, so they waited. All the way until 4 p.m. Who knows what happened behind the scenes during those eight hours. Scouts bailed out on coming to. This is on the heels of rescheduling from 8 a.m. Players are extremely angry over the situation. Stay tuned for full recap, RattlerNews.com, at Rattler News, March 28, 2019. We can imagine why. But the players channeled their anger in the most positive way possible, they worked out and taped it. If the scouts won't come to them, they can send their stuff to the scouts. Because the scouts aren't here, it's viewed as unofficial, RattlerNews.com, at Rattler News, March 28, 2019. Here's former Rattlers RB Akeel Blunt, who had a tryout in the NFL with the Miami Dolphins, venting about the situation. You have regular season games, spring games, etc. that are all organized and emphasized. Want to have a complete program certain things can't just be neglected. Pro Day is a critical part and the coaches should be involved in getting on the phone with scouts and seniors campaign, Akil Blunt, at I am Akil Blunt 47, March 28, 2019 So who is to blame? Clearly the coaches and administration can share some blame here. Yes, it's true that pro scouts always will prioritize their pro day, travel schedules based on which teams offer the most talent are the highest rate prospects. Zero Rattlers players were invited to this year's scouting combine, and it's been at least five years since any FAMU alum played in the NFL, the Florida A. Scouts show up to their 2019 Pro Day, Getty Images, but this is where coaches, who should be building relationships with scouts throughout the season, can step in and help. And if the administration and athletic department did a better job supporting its football program, Thursday's situation can be avoided. It's somewhat common for smaller schools to send players to neighboring bigger schools when they know scouts aren't coming to their campus. So why was this event planned? Someone in the athletics department had to have thought at least a handful of scouts would show up. Someone dropped the ball here. The school is located in Tallahassee, Florida, a same town at Florida State, of course. And FSU had its pro day on Thursday as well, and you can bet that the eight-hour delay was created so that scouts theoretically could leave the FSU campus, drive the 1.6 miles to FAMU and watch some more three-cone drills. But that didn't happen. If assistant coaches and administrators couldn't pick up their cell phones in that time to convince half a dozen of the two or three dozen NFL folks who are at the FSU workout, then there's a problem. Maybe it could have been planned better in the first place to avoid such an embarrassment. This will be a bitter taste in a lot of players' mouths on their final real day as a member of the program. This is an athletic department that has faced budget problems and a football program that has had to take money games in the past to take care of them. They were pretty good on the field this past season despite the challenges there, going 6-5 in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference and even winning 5 straight. Kudos to the kids for overcoming some odds. FAMU lists 15 seniors on its roster. Let's home a few of them find a way to get teams to take a look at them down the road. Somehow, more from Yahoo Sports.